Hello, my friend. Welcome to another thrilling episode of the Success Series with your host, me. And I want to tell you a story today about something that, that happened to me just a, a few hours ago uh, while I was uh, in my car going to the store to get some vegetables to uh, to run through my juicer. I got a call from a buddy of mine who I've known for, for a few years. He's out in the UK. And we've done some business together uh, here and there throughout the years. And uh, last time I spoke to this guy, he was going through a, a struggle. He was having a hard time uh, financially, having uh, bankruptcy issues, uh, just a lack of funds. Obviously, an issue that a lot of people uh, have gone through, whether you're an entrepreneur or not. Obviously, if you're watching, in fact, you know, thinking about my, my buddy Scott Alexander, just as a quick tangent, he said that you, you, you know when you're an entrepreneur, when you've gone bankrupt or you've been this close to going bankrupt. <laughs> That's when you know you're an entrepreneur. But anyway, this guy has had, had, had some, some challenging times. Now, the interesting thing is uh, this guy saw me get started just over a year ago in an online uh, business program. And uh, he, he knows my work and he, he trusts me and he knows my credibility. He decided to get started as well. But he didn't engage the business. He didn't, he didn't do it. He had circumstances back then, too. He was going through all this turmoil. And uh, what he didn't know was that I was going through turmoil, too, at that time. I didn't uh, show up in this new business with like a, you know, a million dollars in reserve or anything like that. And uh, he was just reconnecting with me because he saw some recent videos of me on stage in a big event with thousands of people coming in from around the world, including his country. And uh, he was like, wow, you, you know, you've really made it. And I was like, well, you know, I've, I've learned a lot of stuff and I've, and I've worked, you know, I've worked my ass off. And here he's talking to me about the same circumstances that he's been going through for now well over a year. And, uh, and I offered him some solutions. I'm like, well, we can we can do this. I mean, you've already got uh, an affiliate account, a membership. Uh, you've seen what I've done. I'll show you exactly what I've done. You could do it too. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to put a video or a few videos together with you. We can record some stuff right over Skype, get it out. I can endorse you, you know, get started with this guy and, you know, uh, get some information from, and I'll, I'll keep him anonymous here. Um, and he was like, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds good. But I got to, I got to look and see about, you know, if I can get uh, some, some other stuff set up first and whatever. So he was backing up and I was like, well, look, man, we, we, we got solutions. This will work. I know it'll work. It'll, it's working for me. I can help you do this. I'm, I'm here to help you. It's not going to cost you anything. I, I want to help you. It's like, all right, all right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, man. So um, I think maybe tomorrow we can get together. And as soon as I heard that word, tomorrow. Now, now mind you, this happened at like 930 in the morning, my time. It's I'm seven hours behind the UK. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Still plenty of time to get uh, to knock out a few videos, just quickies, you know, like what we're doing here. Uh, but still, it was tomorrow. And I, I sort of blew up as soon as I heard that word. I was like, you know, so many people are putting off, chronically putting off what they can do today until tomorrow. And I can tell you from my own experience, to, be, to have extraordinary results, a lot of times people are looking for above average results I would say virtually always they're looking for above average results in whatever business they're doing because average people by definition are not successful. That's why they're called average. Okay, so you want to be extraordinary. Well, to do that, every person I know who's doing that has put in an extraordinary effort, sometimes at extreme or what's known as an unreasonable effort. And it's not because, you know, it's it's fun. You know, we, we like doing these things that are, you know, other people don't like to do. We don't like to do them either. We don't like to get out of our comfort zone. We don't necessarily like to be unreasonable, but we are chronically unreasonable, consistently unreasonable, habitually unreasonable, high achievers are, because we've got a goal that's worth getting to sooner rather than later. So as soon as I hear tomorrow, I kind of, uh, you know, get all whacked out because I know what that sort of procrastination has done for me. Now, where does procrastination comes from? It comes from a state of indecision. Like I, I'd like to have extraordinary results, but I haven't decided yet to have extraordinary results. Therefore, tomorrow's just as good as today. Now I want you to consider if you've been, and I know this is this is sort of a, a motivational talk more than like a, a marketing talk, but I'll tell you what, I work more on me than I work on like logistics in business. Okay, that's actually a, a very good practice to have is to, uh, not, not just develop your skills, but to develop who's doing it, right? That's the big question. Not just what you're doing, but who's doing it. 
And so I've gotten more and more to be a person who, if I can get something done today, they get it done today. I look at it like this, imperfect and done beats perfect and not done always. Just like this video, this video series, this website, both statement marketing. Is it perfect? I, I don't know. Maybe you think it's perfect. I don't know. I, I, I'm getting it done though. I'm getting it done. You, you see the point? So tomorrow's a very, very dangerous word. And when you think about like um, uh, people who are high achievers that, that sometimes say, well, you know, I work well under pressure. Okay. That may seem true for them and that may seem true for me. Okay. But I want you to think about this guy's situation who I just talked about. He's got all the circumstances. So do I, so do you. We've got all our circumstances. But when we have a deadline, Okay, do we not get more stuff done sooner, sooner rather than later? So you see a lot of people, and I've been studying this lately, just observing a lot of the people in and around my space and the home-based business and online marketing space, a lot of people just don't have deadlines. So perhaps the more accurate phrase, rather than I work well under pressure, is I work when under pressure. Now, if we can manufacture that pressure for ourselves, as if we had somebody looking over our shoulder and as soon as we get distracted or get into a state of indecision or start using words like tomorrow can you know whack us on the side of the head and say you got to get this done today you got to at least get something done today well now we've manufactured some pressure so maybe we don't well work well under pressure but we work when under pressure and if we can create that pressure for ourselves not in a, a frantic way, but in a way where we actually set some deadlines and we, we create some expectations for ourselves, uh, knowing that we have in fact decided to have extraordinary results. Suddenly we're getting stuff done. Uh, and again, the thing that, that has held me back, I'll speak for myself, the thing that has held me back throughout the years is looking for perfection. Look at, well, what if I make a mistake? Well, of course you're going to make a mistake. Of course it's not going to be perfect. Releasing my attachment to that, to trying to get everything right, because what is right? Right? Is this is this uh, video right? I'm, you you may love it, you may hate it. I don't know. Okay, in the marketing world, everything's a test. There is no such thing as right. Ask the best marketers in the world. Well, we'll we'll test this one. We'll test that one. We'll split test. We'll do five different campaigns. Who the hell knows which one is right? <laughs> so, so you get my point. My point is tomorrow's a dangerous word. So I want to ask you to take a look at your calendar. Just go take a look at it. What day is it? Do you remember back, and, and, and I don't know if you're going to be watching this on New Year's Day, but do you remember back to New Year's Day and that resolve that you felt like, oh, my goodness, it's a new year, right? Think about that. Think about the, the sense of uh, renewal and, and resolve and commitment that you may have experienced if you're somebody who considers you know, day one of the year as an auspicious day to, to make decisions. Uh, I make decisions every day, but it, that's a starting point for a lot of people. Consider that how much, what percentage of the year is already gone? Looking at your calendar, considering that 3.65 days, okay, every 3.65 days is 1% of the year, okay? So however many days are in the year so far that you've been through, divided by 3.65, that's the percentage of the year that's already gone. If nothing else, use that as a little bit of motivation, a little bit of urgency, Okay, so I like to put myself in situations where I've created the pressure that since I don't have a boss, no one else is creating the pressure for me. I do work under pressure, but it's my own pressure. And everything I can get done today, I get done today, not because I'm special, but because I've made a decision that I'm worth it. I'm worth the success. My family's worth it. If you're able to make that decision for yourself and you know success is possible, here's the question. What can you get done now that you've been putting off? What can you get done imperfectly that you can get out into the marketplace and perhaps influence others and build your own trust and credibility with your ideal audience, your, your target market for whatever it is you're, you're, uh, you're offering. So I hope this, uh, this concept uh, made sense to you. And uh, as I always hope I make sense, I'm always interested to hear what I'm going to say on these videos because um, I never know what it's going to be until it comes out of my mouth. Oh, and by the way, I am using a new camera. I just upgraded my Mac to the latest, greatest uh, with the, the FaceTime HD camera. Usually when I shoot in my office, which I haven't done in a while, uh, driving and walking my dog and everything else with my iPhone is usually how I'm shooting. But this is the new FaceTime HD camera, which I finally upgraded my Mac after like four and a half years. So um, if you're wondering how that FaceTime HD camera looks, that's how it looks. I'll see you soon. Uh, love to hear your thoughts, any comments, 
and uh, go ahead and leave them down below. And if uh, this helped you, go ahead and share it with anybody else, perhaps in your marketing team or if you're a sales manager or whatever. Tomorrow's a dangerous word. Let's get some stuff done today. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.